Hi everyone, my name is Alicia Skye. I'm the CEO and co-founder of the Trauma Research Foundation, and I'm really excited to tell you about our trauma-informed neurofeedback certification program. My name is Dr. Bessel van der Kolk. I'm the president of the Trauma Research Foundation and the author of The Body Keeps the Score. If you have read my book, chapter 19 is about neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a way of treating people where you use a brain-computer interface. Basically, what we do, we can take recordings of the underlying brain activity, we can project it onto a computer screen, you can learn to play video games with your own brain waves to regulate and to modify your brainwave patterns to make you more attentive, peaceful, quiet, to concentrate better, etc. It is about the only biological intervention uh, that is a really good alternative to medications and in many cases more helpful than medications. And we think it's just a very important treatment modality that's currently uh, underutilized. We have a program to teach clinicians how to do it, which involves mentoring, supervision, uh, on hands experience, uh, things like this, so we can actually bring a new modality to the people who have most trouble putting their lives together. It's a very good treatment, particularly for people who are scared, people who are confused, people who have a hard time paying attention, and our and other people's research has shown how very effective can be to do so. The reason we started the Trauma Research Foundation's Neurofeedback Certificate Program is because I'd met so many people who've gone through neurofeedback trainings and gotten equipment and then threw up their hands and said, oh gosh, this is too complicated. I can't really do this after all. And for us who are constantly getting referral requests, who do I go to for neurofeedback? And we, we didn't really have a sense of a network out there that we could refer out to. Those two things made us feel like there's more that could be done. So I went around asking some of our experts like Seaburn Fisher and Ruth Lanius, what does it take to begin to integrate neurofeedback into a psychotherapy practice? And I realized that nobody had a simple, straightforward answer. The basic training that people get, the 30 hours or whatever it is, is not enough. That people learn best in community, that when people learn together and can ask questions together and practice together, there's a smoother transition where therapists can really begin to provide neurofeedback within a psychotherapy practice. We built into our program the group mentoring that we think is a really important part of being able to present cases and ask questions and discuss cases together, or deciding on protocols and all kinds of therapeutic choice points together with mentors and guides. This is a real community that we've been working to pull together, a community of learners, a community of providers who can help make neurofeedback a viable, accessible form of treatment for people all over the world who have trauma. So if you are a mental health professional, we invite you to join our neurofeedback community.